Do you know that you can change any website into an app without coding? In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change this website you've seen here into Android app without coding and it's all completely free. Yes, you hear me, completely free. So let's look at how to do that. Now in order for us to build this Android app or change this website into an Android app, we have to take five steps. The first is to create an account on this website known as App My Site. So I'll be keeping the link in the description below where you will use in creating this app. So once you open this website, this is the website App My Site. Once you open it, our first step is to create an account. So you click on Start for Free. Then I'll be connecting it with my Google account. Pick an account. Continue. So I'll, I'll click on this first one, which is Pay for App. Click on Get Started. So we have to put our app name here. So once we put our app name, we have to select the platform we're using. So we're using WordPress. We we'll click on that. Then the next thing is for us to paste our website link here. And once we paste our website link here, then we'll click on Create. So that will be the first step. So we are done with the first step, which is to create an account. So we have created an account. Now, once we have done that, the next thing we want to do, which is the second step, is to design icon logo for our app. So that once somebody wants to download the app, or once somebody have the app installed on his Android device, you will be able to use that icon to identify our app. And the next thing we would also do in this design stage is for us to also design what they call the flash screen. The flash screen is the screen that will display once the app is opening. That display is the flash screen. Something like this. So let's do that in this second step. So we'll come to design. So we'll go to app icon. So under it, we'll click on this place, but if you already have an icon, you can just click here to upload, but if you don't have an icon, you can design your icon within the app. So let me show you how to do the two. Let's say I click on upload an icon, I'll just click here. So we select the image we want, we upload it, and take note, the image size will be 1024 by 1024. So you click on done. So this will be your image. But if you don't have that image, let's say you don't have this image, you can also design your own. Just click on Start Design here. So once you click on Start Design here, let me just show you the other way. So once you click on Start Design, it will open this tab for you where you can now design your icon. You just pick your design from here. So let's say you like this, you just click on it. So what you need to do, just delete this. Select it, delete. So once you delete, you can come to this place, you see photo, and search for maybe any icon you want. So let's say you want um, cat or something, just search for cat. So once you search for cat, you will get some fine design. You just have to select the one you want. Add the other one here. So you can just do that, add it here, and zoom to your desired size. You can delete all these. Maybe you want to delete that, just drag this down like this. And instead of this, you can open it more. So you can centralize it so that everything looks beautiful. So once it's like this, then you can add a text. Just click here and just click on add text. Maybe you just write what you want to write here. So if you want to change the font, just click on it. And from the top, select the font you want. So let's go to maybe decorative. So it's too big, you just reduce the font size. So if this is okay for you, you leave it this way and just drag it to this point and just click on save. So this will be the app icon, depending on what you want. If you don't have a logo, so you can use that as your app icon. So this will be your app icon if you don't have the logo but if you do have a logo like myself i already have a logo so i can just pick my logo 
and go on with it. So apart from that, the next thing I want to do is to create a flash screen. So I'll just click on that. This next step, this is flash. So once you click on that, you can just upload your logo. So in uploading your logo also, this will be your size that you have to use. So 1,500 by 2,000, this, that's what you have to use. So what I'll just do, I'll just use my logo again. So you click on this, you select your icon for this splash, then you upload, then you click on done. After you've done this, the next thing you want to do is you want to connect your website to the app my site. So how do you do that? You click here on this place, you see connectivity. Once you click on connectivity, click on install plugin. Just click here, install plugin. It will take you to your site. Once you log into your site, you click on install now. So once you activate, so once you've activated, just scroll down. Come to this place, you see app my site on your left hand side in your website. This place, so you go back to app my site website, click on generate. So once you click on generate, you copy this code, click here to copy it, go back to your site and paste it. Once you paste it, click on submit. So once you submit, go back to app my site and click on verify. If you notice, it's showing connected here. So the next thing you do is to go to this place, you see grant access. You are seeing it's only showing WordPress. So since it's only showing WordPress, what I want to do is I'll scroll down and look for where you see settings. So once you click on settings, go to general. So under general, the reason why I'm going to that area is because it's not showing me the WordPress future. So from here, what I'll do is I'll come to this place where you see products, where you see WordPress app. I'll click on it. So I'll change it to WooCommerce app. Why am I changing it to WooCommerce app is because we are building this Android app for an e-commerce website. So we have to change it from here. Click on done. So once you click on done, click on proceed. Then once you click on proceed, scroll back to the top, click on save. So once you click on save, go back to connectivity again. Go back to this install plugin. So once you click on install plugin, you have to re-verify again. Now, once you re-verify again, it will show you connected here. You don't have to go back to your site. So you go back to grant access. If you notice, you see you have the WordPress and the WooCommerce. So we have to go to the WooCommerce side because our website is an e-commerce website. So once you do that, you have to click on this place you see connect using WooCommerce REST API. You click on it. So once you click on it, the next thing you need to do is to go back to your website. So once you go back to your website, come to WooCommerce, put your mouse on WooCommerce. On WooCommerce, click on settings. So once you click on settings, go to advanced under the advanced go to rest api so once you have done that under this your rest api click on add key so once you open the rest api give it a description now under this place where you see permission click on permission change it to read write and click on generate api so once you do that the first thing you see here is customer key click on copy once you copy it go back to up my site Paste it here, then go back to your site again, copy the customer secret, go back to up my site, paste it, then once you've done that, click on verify. So if you notice, it has been verified. So our website has been connected successfully to up my site. So the next thing we need to do, which is the step number four, is for us to do some basic settings. And those basic settings will require us to look at how to use the navigation, the web view, and that is where we will have to do some basic settings on. So click on navigation. So under navigation, I'm not much concerned with the color theme. I will just go to home screen. Now this has to do with how you want the app to look like. So basically, what I want is I don't want all these things you are seeing. I want my website. To look the same way with the app so I'll, I'll turn off all these I'll just turn them off 
So I'll also turn this off. Then under here, you see where you see um, web view. So under the web view, just click on it and turn it on and click on OK. And once you click on OK, just go back to the top and click on Save. So you want your home screen to look like that of your web view. That's, how you, that's why you have to turn the web view on. So once you save that, you have to go to the next thing where you see bottom bar. You click on that bottom bar. So what you need to do is to just off it. Just click here to off it. Then you click on save. Then the next thing you need to do is to go to the place you see menu. What you need to do is you come here to this place you see sync with my WordPress menu. Just click on it. Then select your primary menu, which is this one, which is the main menu. Then you go down to this place you see secondary menu. Also do the same thing and click on category. Then scroll back to the top and click on save. So once you click on save and it has been saved, the next thing is to come to this place where you see web view. Click on it. So once you click on web view, what you want to do is, if this uh, app header is turned on, turn it off. So once you turn it off, just scroll down. All these options you see me tick, just make sure they are all tick. Then you click on save. So once you do that, this will now take us to the final step, which is the testing and downloading the Android app. Then after we have tested it on the app my site, then I will also show you the view of when I am downloading it on my Android phone and I will test it too on my Android phone to see whether it is working uh, the same way our website is working. So let's go to our final step. Click on this place you see preview. It will show you two methods of previewing the app. If you want to preview on an Android device, this is the Android device, the first one. While for iPhone, this is the second one for iPhone, you have to upgrade. But for the free version, you can only use um, the Android. So just click on start on the Android uh, phone. So this is it. If you look, notice, this is how it is. You see, it has the same feature of our website. You're seeing it, right? So all these are the products of our website. Let's say I want to add this iPhone to cart. I'll just click on it. So I'm testing the app now. This is the uh, fifth step. So you see, it shows me the app. So I'll scroll down. So once I scroll, it will show me the price. I can also add it to cart. So I can add to cart. So once I add to cart, I will click on view cart here. So once I click on view cart, I can scroll down. So this is the amount. Then I can click on proceed to checkout. See? I can scroll down again. I'll add my name, my first name. So once you're done, you just click here, place order. So let me explain something to you. This order you see me placing here on this testing app on up my site will also be shown on my website. So how do I know? Let's go back to my website. Under this place you see WooCommerce, click on orders. I got it. What I got, this is it, 26 seconds ago. Um, I got this. It's processing. So this is my name. And this is the amount of what I got, which is the iPhone, which is 350 And this is just now I got it, right? So it means anything you do on this app will automatically be reflected on the website also. So now, since we have tested this and we've seen that it is working just the way we want, the next thing we need to do now is to download, which is the last thing. Then I will now show you also how it works with all our icon and everything on my Android phone. So let's just come to the download side. So when you are under the download section, you just click on this place you see build app. So once you click on build app, it will give you the whole thing you need. 
your app identity uh the app permission if you want to add a permission you can add a permission and if you don't want to add the permission it's not necessary so just what you need to do is just to click on this place you see build app so so once it is done downloading you will see where it will show you download apk and download aab so apk means android package kit why aab means android app bundle so this is used when you want to upload it to google play store maybe i will be creating another video soon where i would show you how to upload it and deploy it on the play store so let's just click on download apk so let me show you how to do it from my phone so let me just open it so i'm installing it and i'll click on install then i'll click on scan app so i'll click on install so i'll click on open you notice this is our uh, flash screen that i did so this is that flash screen icon I, I created so this is how it is on my android phone then if i'm scrolling this is it you see so it's working perfectly well on my android phone so this is how to build an android app for free without coding so the next thing i want to show you is how do you add it to your top menu icon how do you add it let's say somebody will come to your site this is your website and somebody wants to download it from maybe you want to tell the person that there's an app so you want to add it here so what you need to do is to go back to your dashboard area of your website then go to appearance so under appearance click on menus so once you come there make sure it is selected on your primary menu once it is selected on your primary menu scroll down once you scroll down come to this left hand side where you see custom link click on it so once you click on it click on the place where you see link test and write then go back to up my site where you click on download apk right click on it and copy link address then you put it here and paste the link here and once you paste the link there click on add menu so it will be added here download app then you click on save menu so once you click on save menu to be saved then you go back to your home page once you go back to your home page refresh it once you refresh it you will see that icon download app will be there added to your menu so if you see if somebody click on this download app you see this is it. it is downloading here so that's how to do that so thank you for watching this video if you have any question throughout the whole video from the beginning to the end maybe you have any you need any clarity use the comment section below to ask your question or for any uh, body that need assistance in building um, this kind of app the person can contact me using um, my gmail or using the comment section and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so see you in the next video have a nice day bye